everybody, it's Donna from Tarot. Tarot doing another Saturday Smackdown. We're going to take this die, which has all 12 signs on it, and we're going to roll it twice and find out who is dealing with who. And then we're going to be reading for them. So let's roll. We are doing it for Pisces again. All right, Pisces was doing, we already did Pisces and Leo. Pisces and Libra. Okay, so, and we just did Taurus and Libra. Okay, so those two signs want to get a reading. All right, so Pisces and Libra, and we're going to choose a spread, and we're going to throw out all the career spreads and the money spreads and all that stuff and just do a, a love reading. So let's see. Um, okay, so this is called Why Do You Treat Me Like Shit? <laughs> all right, here is your reading. <laughs> and it is done with what, what deck? What deck are we using? The Modern Witch Tarot. So this deck for Why Do You Treat Me Like Shit? All right, so someone is not treating you right. So let's see what's going on. And what ended up on the bottom of the deck? Three of Pentacles. Um, the Three of Pentacles talks about the ability to work together to, you know, create something together in like a spirit of teamwork. So is this person somebody that you can't work together with? Yeah. It could also be third-party influence. Okay, so you. Um, or actually, okay, so they are represented by, not you, but they are represented by which card? Okay, the card that represents this person. Okay, so matey energy. Might be a little bit on the karmic side. The lover's card. So that's them. Their actions and influence. Um, wow. Wow. I don't know if you're the Pisces or the Libra, but this person, and this is also a Pisces card, but Ten of Cups, they see you as their, um, their happily ever after. Um, how they really, truly feel about you. Um, impulsive, like, I don't get any bad vibes off of this, actually. And at least not yet. Um, well, they're kind of... In, you know, adventurous and impulsive. So you are represented by the King of Cups. And this is somebody who's very mature in love. Sometimes their emotions get the best of them. They get lost in their emotions. Um, is this even worth it? Ooh. Well, here's the fly in the ointment. <laughs> Look at this. This is the card of sneakiness, shadiness, someone trying to get away with something. It can also be a card of somebody hiding their thoughts not opening up. Um, outcome of the relationship. Okay, so if you're broken up, it's you're gonna get it's gonna be renewed. It's gonna come back around. If you're not broken up yet, there's gonna be a final decision made on whether or not to stay together. And it could be a shocking decision. Um, but yeah, the, the judgment card. That's a card of you know things being revived so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck damn two tens tens are endings or be and beginnings so ten of pentacles that's the card of having it all so if it is it even worth it it looks like everything else is really good so is if it or is it even worth it then you get the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? And again, it's another card of being quiet. So is this saying that it'll things will work out if you don't speak up and say what you think or open up? If you keep secrets? That makes no sense. Um, this, this card also has to do with intuition. This one does not. Uh, but both of them have to do with being quiet and not opening up and letting people know what you're up to, what you're doing. So, is it even worth it? I guess it'll work if you don't let the other person know what you're up to. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some Oracle cards because that does not make any sense. Everything else looks really great, believe it or not. I mean, I like all these. None of these are, that is one, that's normally not a good card to get. So that's why I was like, what? All right, so let's see. 
either soulmate messages or some I just love oracle cards in general so let's see what kind of things separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future I don't see it says why do you treat me like shit but literally this is the most non shitty reading <laughs> as far as like it's how somebody treats you I don't know so if you're separated um I mean, they're thinking about you, and they're not sure what's going to happen. What else? Oh, Jesus. Girl with a snake. Empath, empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Ooh. Okay, there's that. So maybe that's the whole, it, it'll work out if you keep quiet and don't say what you think. Hmm. All right, let's get a couple of these. Okay, that's a lot of cards, but we'll do it. All right, so we'll do, we'll do a couple. Wow, so that might make more sense. Hmm. So that would be soulmate karmic. This could be love bombing. I don't know. It could be love bombing you and, and creating, making it look like, you know, you, they're, you're happily ever after. Um, that's them being impulsive. This is you being very emotional. Is it worth it if you keep quiet and don't say what you think? Outcome with relationship. Um, well, if you're broken up, it looks like you'll get back together. So that could be like a trauma bond happening or, you know, influencing it. Um, power of joy. So this is something you're supposed to... Oh, and you know what? There's... Didn't I get that from the other... Yeah, I got from the uh, the last one I just did, the uh, Taurus Libra one. Um, I got the rainbow in it. And whenever I see the rainbow in one of my cards, that's a symbol to me that it could be an LGBTQ relationship. Could be. Not definite, but it, a lot of times that is. Um, citrine. Oh my God, I can't read this because it's so freaking tiny. Um, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Okay, so you're to, you're supposed to have citrine around you to avoid worrying. Um, and I'll do one more of each and then we're going to close this off. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. The word gaslighting does does stick out so that's something you need to be aware of and last but not least another one of these these are so hard to read all right so unikite it says answer prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support all right so that is it with that thank you love you i don't know if you are the pisces or the libra but thank you love you and i will see you in the next smackdown